Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me 320 Simpilot and today we're taking a look at the Black Square Real Taxiways Europe add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This was kindly sent over by JustFlight for us to take a look at and what I'm going to do in today's video is go through whether it does provide additional uh, help to your flight simming and where it is of most value. We're going to look at a few different random airports around Europe to see whether it has enhanced those at all. So we're going to look at the before and after installing this add-on. This add-on is mainly focused on improving the taxiway signage at these airports. These default airports in Microsoft Flight Simulator can sometimes be lacking or incorrectly labelled or missing labels altogether as well as having the wrong sort of signs and what this add-on seems to uh, promise is that it will improve that situation by adding lots and lots and lots of correct signage in the right place. This is going to be really useful for those of you who use charts so we'll be looking at the Navigraph charts at these airports uh, and seeing how it compares. It's also useful for those of you who do fly in the real world and want to see accurate signs to, to replicate what you're doing in real life. And as well, of course, those of you using VATSIM will need correct signage to work out where you're going. I do have a video on taxiways and following the signs, so do please check that out on the channel if you need help understanding what these signs are trying to tell us, although I'll talk a little bit about it today and why they're so important. We're going to look at four different airports and I'm going to talk about the good and the bad and we'll see uh, how it compares throughout the video. As ever, everything in this video is just for giving you some extra context in your home simulations. I am a real world Airbus pilot, but none of this is for any real world use. Right, let's get started. Before we do get started, I'd just like to remind you of our partnership with Apex Gaming PCs, where we have a line of custom 320 Simpilot PCs that you can also customize yourself on the website. If you do buy one, you'll be supporting the channel and you can get a 5% discount with the code 320 Simpilot. Right, let's get back to the taxiways. Here are some of the, the highlighted features that, uh, that this product uh, promises. So 1,165 airports updated, 41,500 taxiway signs. So quite uh, quite a big change there. They promise real world taxiway names and near real world taxiway sign placement. So improving the sign placement, which is something we'll look at in today's video. They've also made the signs match different runway uh, country conventions. So the naming conventions and so on. And uh, we're going to see some different countries in today's video although whether or not i'll be able to tell the difference is something i i, uh, I can't promise even though you do fly to these places generally they're, they're pretty standardized or certainly not much different in in sort of passing notice but i'm sure if you developed uh, an add-on like this you'd have taken a bit more notice than, than i do they've removed the signs obstructing taxiways uh, and runways they reduce the lights on active taxiways to stop them uh, getting in the way because we know there's a few of those and there's some other uh, bonuses i'll provide the link to the uh, product in the description here we have gdansk airport echo papa golf delta so what i'm going to show you first is the chart and this is the ground chart and this is what we expect to see so this is quite a simple single runway airport in north poland you've got alpha one and then the alpha taxiway which is the main taxiway along the side of the runway and then all of the intersections are labeled differently as you would expect. So Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, and then Hotel. We then have the aprons, uh, which are um, labeled slightly differently on the parking stands. Uh, so uh, I'll be curious to see how this changes. But in particular, I want to point out, I've chosen this airport for a reason, which is it's in Europe and the taxiways are notably wrong. So let's zoom in so that's the top down view and if i remove that you can see here it is so we're expecting to see a whole series of different intersections and taxiway alpha running along the side so they got the runways right 2911 this is entirely default airport in microsoft flight simulator there's a lot of airports that are sort of you know it's it's an it's a great job to have so many and with the correct runways that you can fly rls's to and have the frequencies but there are of course limitations to that process so as we zoom in and come down and then we move along so runway 29 all correct present looks right great functional now we know that these two taxiways down here if we look at our chart should be labeled as alpha one and bravo and then there's charlie further along so this is bravo first and then alpha one now usually taxiways are labeled as you vacate so let's say we had landed on runway 11 facing this direction then I would expect to see a yellow sign, and I've got a taxiway tutorial where I talk about this stuff, a yellow sign pointing off to the left before the intersection to tell me what the name is. So I know where I'm vacating, and therefore I can report to air traffic control, or if air traffic control was to contact me and say, I want you to vacate at the end at Alpha, 
because if they just said at the end we might take either they might say alpha because bravo could be closed or there's an aircraft there or something silly anyway as you can see there are no vacating signs at all nothing so that's the first thing i'm looking for and then as we move over we've got the taxiway here and again it's not labeled on the back they just show us the back of these signs now this is unusual because it would normally tell you as you vacate the signs normally tell you so you can tell our traffic control where you are as we come around to the other side we can see that these actually just say runway 29 so that's correct but again it doesn't tell us what this this intersection is over here which is alpha you can see again just runway 29 also unusual just to see 29 like that there'd normally be a label next to it telling us what the intersection or the the taxiway is called so let's say we've been told we're taxiing along here alpha taxi along alpha and then holding point alpha one for runway 29 so we come along here and we would look for the taxiway sign that directs us to alpha and as you can see it doesn't exist you can actually see the satellite marking for it so this one would say bravo and then there would be another one uh, maybe it's not here maybe it's on this side there it is that would say alpha on the right um, so none of that is labeled correctly at this end of the runway you if you were on that sim we wouldn't be able to identify which taxiway we've been sent to and the story only gets worse really as we look further along the runway so here we have something more promising sorry for the flying around so this is runway 2911 quite a common sort of signage like that but as you can see this one just says alpha well if we look at the chart this is not alpha this is charlie intersection what this is actually meaning is that that's taxiway alpha again as we vacate the runway there is a sign telling us but it just says alpha now that's because alpha is the main taxiway so the simulator has decided to just show us alpha is on the left and it's sort of right alpha is over there but before we get to alpha we've got to go onto this taxiway which is charlie and again it's sort of an issue for exiting the runway because air traffic might have told you to use charlie but it is a bigger concern for uh, people trying to choose where to take off from because you're taxiing along here and you'll see a little sign here and it will say charlie and then you'll know if your takeoff performance allows for that intersection so so far none of the intersections have been correct just the main taxiway alpha has worked now i can reveal to you and you probably guessed the whole length of the runway is like this so here we go this one is labeled as alpha correct arrow location back on yourself but then again no labels on this side when you're on it uh, and the wrong alpha there so all of these direct you to alpha so that is not an intersection you ever see in real life because it doesn't work you can't have them all called alpha intersections have to be labeled for the very important reason that we need to know how much runway we've got so they're all wrong they all say alpha um, but some of the, the layout is okay we've got the turning circle down here uh, and here we have another alpha i imagine yeah alpha so alpha 2911 so yes yeah, so the layout is fine and it's a functional airport if you know what you're doing you could get around but it's quite clear that the the taxiway labelings are not good then that works if we know the airport but obviously and we can see here that more missing signs uh, given away by this this satellite imagery so again flight simulator is sort of um because it's getting so good at scenery it's it's sort of inhibiting itself by revealing where it's making mistakes on the uh, on the taxiways the apron as well essentially unlabeled now at this airport, not too many rogue taxiway signs. There's nothing in the way of your taxiing. There's just, oh, that's not good. They're gonna have a bad day. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot of clues. Nothing over here. And if this is all part of the apron. Is this labeled? Let's have a look. So we're in the parking stands here. So this should have Romeo and Mike and Mike taxiways in November. None of that's labeled at all that we've we managed to see. Those taxiways are missing. So this is all stuff we'll be looking for to see if it's uh, improved using the, the Taxiways Europe add-on. But yeah, pretty, pretty uh, empty on the taxiway signs here, that's for sure. So here we are back at the threshold to runway 29 in Gdansk Airport. And let's see what difference we have made by installing Black Square's Real Taxiways Europe. So that is now installed and we're going to see how it compares and if it provides any additional realism and accuracy to our taxiway charts. So or not charts, sorry, I should say, our taxiway signage means the main focus of this add-on. So here we are, runway 29, and as we saw earlier, these were all labelled alpha, all the exit points, which is a, a concern because you need to know where to vacate, and most importantly, you need to know where you're entering the runway. So as we're vacating the runway, and we look at its end one, I'm expecting alpha one, and there it is, alpha one. Now I notice it says MMMM, and I'm not sure what's causing that. That is not a, a doesn't mean anything that shouldn't be like that i don't think but alpha one is correctly labeled and if we move over to the left we see alpha one 
Bravo. So here we have Bravo that we're on. So this one is saying Alpha 1, which is not right. Alpha 1 is the tax rate on the right. But there are some good things, which is Juliet, which is in front, which is over here. Uh, Alpha 2, which we can see is this little leg here. So there are some some perks. It has got better at this end, uh, but uh, there's still a couple of couple of errors. But mainly, if you're taxiing along the runway to vacate, you can see from here that uh, we have Bravo and then Alpha. This is just because I'm using the drone, it doesn't zoom in. So let's move along the runway. What does this sign say? That says Alpha 1, so that's talking about the last exit. So again, more accurate than it was, because previously, remember, they all just said Alpha. And let's go the other way down the runway. And here we have Charlie, correctly signposted with an arrow off the runway. And I'm hoping to see over here a little Charlie square. Yep, Charlie, and then Alpha 3 on the left, Alpha 2 on the right. So that is correctly signposted which is much improved. Previously, just a pretty useless alpha that wasn't even labeled on this side. As we come to the other side, Charlie, there it is, and 2911, the correct sort of format. That's what you'd expect to see. So very good, that's a big red sign warning us it's a holding point. So that's in the right place with the right labels. If we're coming along this taxiway, there you go. Alpha 3 is what we are on, yes. And then Alpha 2 is ahead, yes. And Charlie is on the right after the sign. Again, my taxiway tutorial talks about what these signs are trying to tell us more, but this is a, a perfectly accurate sign as far as I can tell. Very good. Now, whether that's exactly what's there in real life, I, I couldn't tell you, but that is a useful sign in following the, the charts. I would know where I am. and I'd know what's coming up. Remember, air traffic control could clear you to taxi along Alpha 3, but not clear you onto Alpha 2. So you'd know to stop here because in front of you is Alpha 2 after that sign. That's what it's going to turn into if you go straight on. As we move down, you won't be surprised then, more and more accurate taxiway uh, exit points. So Delta is correct. We're on Alpha 3 here with Alpha 4 ahead. And this is the Delta entrance exit of the runway. And there it is, Delta 2911. So this is just, uh, yeah, this is a big step up. And as we come along the runway, would we see it? They've also, I believe, fixed a lot of lights, although I didn't <laughs> pay enough attention. I should have seen if there were any... Uh, um, runaway lights in the way there but uh, there we go and there's delta exit point so i won't uh, talk about it too much but as you can see these exit points have been done well oh this one's missing here unless it's further back i'm not sure um but yeah so a lot of these have been greatly improved so if we were to vacate here you'd know you're on echo as you got to this point and there it is echo and then foxtrot should be this one over here and there it is, Foxtrot. So this was a completely random airport. I, I just happened to choose it because I knew that the taxiways weren't labeled here very well. And there we go, uh, much improved, no doubt about it. Not perfect, there's a couple of little glitches and so on, but look at this, Golf, it, it's really good to see. So it is a nice um, step up for this. That's quite a complex little intersection. So Hotel is on the left, let's see if that's right. So we're on Golf which is here, and then Hotel on the left, which is that one there, Hotel Holding Point, and Alpha 7 on the right as we go back on ourselves, Alpha 7, which is this little link here. And look at that sign, that's a great sign as well. So if you go hard left, you'll be on Golf. If you go uh, normal left, you'll be on Hotel. And that is correct, Golf and Hotel. So you could you could perceive, conceivably navigate around based on air traffic control's instruction to quite a high level of accuracy. Now it's all very well on a nice sunny day like this, but you know, in a foggy day, those signs are incredibly important. They, we really do need them to be working, and that is really nice. So, uh, yeah, looks good. Let's go and see if the apron has any improvements, because that was a pretty lacking area as well by the default uh, standards. So we're on Alpha 7 coming along here with the terminal on our left. So move it over there. We're looking for uh, November on the left, and then Mike and Mike. So as we move along, there's no sign for November coming in from this entrance. So that's missing. Uh, this would all be part of Mike now. Oh, look at that. F-14's come. Excellent. <laughs> as well as our R320. Um, but this end of the apron, you can see it does label itself as being Mike with Alpha 6. Now, this doesn't change the format of the taxiways as far as I'm aware. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't really seem to. But these labels weren't here at all earlier. So Mike with Romeo running behind it. So that means this is Romeo, and if we look here, Mike, and then Romeo is on the right there. So you'd know you're on Mike as you come into here, and then we run out of signs. So again, a big step up. There's some signs, but not 100% perfect, although I would say uh, some of those the glitches, like those four M's, are not, not going to be too, too major of an issue. And it's nice to see the signs reversible now, so you've got information on both sides, which is what you'd expect. So you know because these taxiways are used from both directions so that is is really good to see with accurate lettering very good
So, hands up if you recognise this airport. It is, of course, London Heathrow. This is one of the most iconic airports in Europe. One of many, but it is one of the biggest and it's obviously world famous. So, it seems natural to expect uh, this add-on to provide some sort of enhancement to this airport. Now, I did give in and I paid for the, I think it was called the Premium, or whatever the top version of Microsoft Flight Simulator was. That happened to include a custom Heathrow. So as we can see, it does look very nice. They've got the right buildings in the right place. That's a pretty pretty convincing take on Terminal 5 over there on the left uh, with the, the extra sort of uh, off-pier remote parts as well. And then we've got the other terminals too four over there so it, it's pretty good Heathrow Tower pretty iconic and there it is you can sit in the middle so that's all good but we were talk looking at the taxiways today aren't we so we're going to be looking for similar things to how we were expecting to see it in Gdansk but it's going to be a labeling issue here so let's have a look at the charts and I'm going to start off over in this little cul-de-sac on the south side of Terminal 5 if we bring up the charts down here which is on Pakistan's continued Terminal 5, and we're on the south side looking in here. This is Taxiway Yankee. This is Holding Point Hanley, Holding Point Dasso, and Holding Point Vikas. So let's swing the camera around, and I'm going to put us into this cul-de-sac. So now we are facing, we're on Yankee facing to the east, looking out at the main, or the remote terminals. So what I'm expecting to see is Holding Point Yankee. Sorry, uh, Hanley down here. As you can see, there's actually some vehicles in the way, but either way, we don't see Hanley. Now, we talked in Gdansk about the importance of the labeling for the intersection so you know your performance is correct. But there's other really important parts, which are these stop points, which Heathrow uses, and these are named accordingly. And you get these in other airports as well, of course. Uh, but these are holding points, so you're not going to cross them or you'll get cleared to them, typically. That's why they've got this double line. So we've got Hanley... Dasso, Vikas, Oster, Hawker. There's loads of them around here. So if you're on Vatsim or uh, you know, simulating a real flight, you might expect to be sent to one of these holding points, especially if the runway down here is in use. As we can see, there's no Hanley. Now, some good points are from the default airport. It is Yankee, and that says Lima 53. If we look on the chart, that's Link 53. So close enough, at Lima 53, Link 53. As we get over to the runway, I'd expect to see November 11 and November Bravo 11 because that's what we can see on the chart here, 11 Bravo 11. And they've done a good job. A couple of overlays uh, issues here, but it is labeled correctly, so you would find your way around. Uh, nine right is not correct, I should say zero nine right, so I'll, I'll be looking for that. <laughs> um, so not bad, but crucially missing uh, Hanley. And as you can see here, again, this is a recurring theme in the default signage in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Where is the AM? Where is the reverse side? You know, we, we all these taxiway signs are shown on both sides. I think they're a decent enough size, which is something this add-on says it corrects. But anyway, clearly that's not good enough. We, we don't know what taxiway this is. So waiting to see if that is improved. Uh, here we go, Lima 53, rather confusing, Alpha, 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 <laughs> um, which is, uh, yeah, that's not quite helpful. But anyway, over here, we can see the stop bar marks on the ground, so they have got the dashed line, but again, no naming point. This one should be Dasso, and then we're looking for Vikas on the other side. Again, not labelled, and some confusing signage here. Um, but I suppose it's Alpha, Link 53. Though it does say Alpha, and then first left Alpha. That's not correct, because this is Alpha here, and left is Bravo. Um, so it's actually second left, so you've got to come over here, and then you get Alpha. Again, not bad, November 10, Lima 52, Link 52, all labelled, but mainly these stop bars is something I'll be curious to see, because this is a you know a big part of um, European aviation, especially if you're flying around the UK, like we do a lot on this channel, so it would be nice to see some improvements here, um, if this add-on can provide some correct intersections. Uh, here we have, again, the same thing, where you have nothing on the back, so for vacating, you're coming down the runway, oh no, not bad, so November Bravo 8, so this does help. They have got the right exit points shown on. So we'll give credit to uh, Flight Simulator. But remember, this is the enhanced version of Heathrow. So you would expect some of this stuff. But again, I, I couldn't possibly... I want to make it clear now. I'm not criticizing Flight Simulator for its taxiway signage. I appreciate it is generated because there's only so much you can do. Um, you can't expect them to go around the thousands and thousands and thousands of taxiway signs and get them all perfect. But yeah, looking for those holding points at Heathrow in particular. 
Otherwise, not too bad. A few errors that we've spotted while I was looking through, um, and particularly on the back. And there seems to be none of the individual actual names. So I'll be curious to see if those have been added in with this add-on. Finally, in Heathrow then, this is taxiing up here along Alpha heading north next to Terminal 5A. You can see there's Yankee, Link 54, Link 55. These are all on the right-hand side. So let's say you've been cleared to taxi up here and then take Link 55. As you can see, there is a sign here saying Alpha and Yankee left and right, for all good. But then we get to the next intersection and there's nothing. Don't know what this intersection is. Now you can, when you're next to it, see there Link 54 with Bravo on the other side. But yeah, that's not ideal. As we move up, a bit better, Alpha 55. So it's okay, but again, not entirely convincing and certainly not how it would be formatted uh, in the real world. So here we are at Heathrow with the black square real taxiways Europe installed. Let's go and see if the holding point names have been added in, which as we saw earlier, is quite an important part of uh, taxiing around an airport like this. So here is the exit where we were looking for the point called Hanley. And here it is. Hanley has now been added in with a stop bar uh, or a hold short marker whatever you want to call it so there it is Hanley written and we should have Dasso Vikas all on the other side link 53 was already correct we saw in the previous one and of note on the other side it also says Hanley so you get the information both ways round really really important that you have that because it's no good just having one sided taxiway signs so there we go let's pop over to here and see if we have the others and here they are Dasso correctly labeled and Vikas and if we go to the other side can you see where they are yeah Vikas and Dasso so this is great stuff. This is a real step up. And once again, it's going to just make the, the experience between your, um, here's Oster, <laughs> uh, your experience between your simulator world and your charts all sort of line up in uh, a better fashion. Charlie one. Yeah, much better, much, much improved. Moving up the main taxiway next to Terminal 5, we again have subtle but uh, nevertheless improvements. So earlier we saw how Link 54 was not labelled until you were next to it, so you couldn't see it coming. Whereas if we taxi up Alpha now, we can see Alpha, and here's the Link 54 sign that was missing from earlier. So that's great to have. Uh, and then, of course, once you're next to it, you can see it there labelled as 54. Um, so that's much improved. Uh, subtle, but it all counts, and here's uh, Link 58 correctly labelled. Excellent. Actually, I don't think it is correctly labelled. <laughs> that is should be link 55, according to the chart. Alpha 54, 55. So I'm not sure why it's saying 58. It seems to think 58 runs. Link 58's up here. Seems to have confused Bravo and 58 somehow. There you go. So it's convinced this is all link 58. So again, not perfect. There are some, some glitches here we can see. Also at Heathrow, I wanted to check how 9 right was labelled. So... Earlier it said 9 right without the 0, but we can see they've added that in November Bravo 11, 0, 9 right. So that's good to see. Nice little detail. It's also of note that they've increased the contrast on these stop bars. So they are now with the black paint behind and then the yellow on top. It makes them stand out better against the sort of uh, concrete grey colour that you have so to help improve the visibility of them. So it's interesting, yeah. So that's a definite change, which you can sort of see the transition from one to the other there which I wasn't quite expecting. So that's nice to see. So they've improved the, the visibility of the, the holding points. This double overlay thing was already present in my in my version of Flight Simulator. I'm not sure what's causing that. Uh, but yeah, November 11, November Bravo 11, signposted, correct numbering, correct sort of format with the 0 and 9, right? Good to see. Another airport worth looking at is Amsterdam. This is, of course, famous for its taxiing with very, very spread out runway format and famously long taxis, although quite easy to navigate, mainly because the signage at the airport is very good. It does include some complex areas that, in general, by default, again, I'm using the premium version. I'm not sure if that means this was upgraded by default when I purchased this, but either way, this is not modified and, uh, yeah, it even manages some of the more complicated areas like this little area down here by the parking stands. Now, we are currently out by Victor 4 holding point and this isn't perfect. So here we go. Victor 4 is entirely missing. It's somewhere around here and I think that would be the sign for it and that's missing. So we'll be looking out for uh, that holding point over by runway 36 left because, uh, yeah, again, if air traffic control sent you there, you might struggle to find it. Uh, you can see it from this side though on the vacating this is what i've been talking about in the other airports uh, useful to have now this area is also quite well represented this is the, the sort of the icing bays out by the runway as you can see here we are on victor you can go right to victor four or back on yourself a little bit confusing not perfect uh, and then victor sierra ahead i mean it's not perfect but it is 
workable, especially if you have the charts. Now, something I did want to discuss is if you land on 18 right, which is where we just were. So if you land coming in this way and then you taxi down here, it sometimes happens that you cross at Whiskey 5. So Victor Mike cross at Whiskey 5. It'll be a left turn onto Yankee, a right turn onto Zulu. So that's what I'm expecting to see signage for. And it's quite an important part of the route, something I can certainly expect us to have to do. So there you go. You've got Victor, Zulu, if you go straight ahead. Not quite. It's sort of a right turn. But anyway, Whiskey 5 off to your left and then Yankee off to your left up here. Now, this is not how it would be formatted. There's no point putting different signs on the left and right side. So I'm expecting to see these change. Um, basically, you've got Whiskey 5 in the middle. So basically, Whiskey 5 is straight ahead, Zulu to the right, Yankee to the left. So we'll see if that improves. Uh, and as we get down here, this is Whiskey 5. And you'll notice we have not seen anything to tell us it's Whiskey 5. And as we get to the runway, we get no more markers, um, which is obviously not great because this, I don't know what happens here. It goes completely blank, nothing, nothing, and then we're on a runway. Um, these markers here do show it, Whiskey 5, but again, you'd expect to see it marked out here. So I want to see this improved as well. Likewise, as you taxi up here, it's sort of there, but that taxiway area is just not, not very neat. So see if that's labeled better. And finally, um, again, like I say, this is not a bad effort by default at Amsterdam. But down the south side of this runway here, as you go on Zulu to cross around the south, another commonly used route. So we're now moving down Zulu here, and then we make a turn around. And then Zulu 2, Zulu 1 holding points. So you need to be clear to cross these, and that's because this is an active runway in the middle over here, runway 36 center. So we can't just drive underneath the approach path unless we're told to. So as we come around, we're looking for those stop points. And as you can see, we get to here. We get a sign that says Zulu and to continue on Zulu, and that's it. No stop points um, marked. Now, I'm not sure if this add-on is going to affect taxiways. I don't think it will, but it should affect the signs. And again, no signs here. So there's a two stop points that are missing signage and all. Zulu 2 and Zulu 1, I'd expect to see. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Here we are back at Amsterdam now with the Black Square Real Taxiways Europe installed. So let's head over to runway 36 left all the way out here and see if there has been uh, any addition of the stop point or any uh, any improvement over this signage to help us with taxiing. So as we come down here, which would be uh, Victor Kilo, Victor 4 is shown up ahead of us and Victor on the right, Papa 7 on the left. Um, and just to remind you, here is where we are. So Victor 4 should be in front of us, and that's a holding point that I want to see shown more clearly. So as we head over here, it should appear, and there it is. So that is a good addition. So we have Victor 4 for 3, 6 left, labeled and present and correct. As we come around to the other side, we've got this MMMN bug again. But aside from that, it does say Victor 4. So that is an improvement, and again, will help with the taxiing. Uh, around as per that sims instructions and it's the other side for victor 4 so that is good news so that's improved certainly these are quite minor things in some cases but um it's going to have a, an impact on your your ability to work out where you are certainly uh in in some some of these airports now victor sorry whiskey 5 crossing point for the runway has that appeared so that should be we're looking for yankee on the left uh, and whiskey five in front of us so it's a zulu straight ahead which is not quite right i think Z zulu is actually off to the south um so as we come up here there it is whiskey five is signposted there what does the back of that sign say no that one's blank and here it is the taxiways aren't changed because that's not part of this this is taxiway signs uh, and there we go whiskey five written there as we're coming up here whiskey five on the left Charlie on the uh, the parallel taxiway so that will make sense but yeah important to note does not modify the taxiway textures so the final part I want to see down on the south side we're looking for the Zulu 1 Zulu 2 stop points which are used by air traffic control um, it is an important thing so Zulu 2 Zulu 1 we would normally get clearance to cross those so coming down to the south and is it drawn on anywhere no that's still missing entirely both of those are still missing so there you go interesting so minor additions certainly helped with the stop bars at the runways but of note it did miss out these two i also want to take a look at a general aviation airfield 
This is maybe not quite German aviation. This is a uh, maybe a bit of a corporate airfield, but this is Biggin Hill in southeast London. So this one I've used in a couple of videos, and it's it is notable for being a default airport with some pretty lacking taxiway markings and signs. So the main runway that we're going to go and look at over here, uh, which is runway zero three. This is an important part. This is the area before the runway, so the intersections need to be correct, especially, again, if you're using control. So, as you can see here, you've got Juliet and Foxtrot, and there's an actual zoomed-in area around the threshold for 03, because it's so important to get this right. It's got HS1 labelled, which means hotspot. That means there's a high risk of runway incursions, or taxiway incursions, or any sort of incident. So, it's something to highlight to the pilots. This could be an issue. So, here it is, hotspot 1. Uh, it's just information non-instructions but it does say taxi with caution possible confusion between exits for charlie foxtrot one and juliet one so let's have a look at what we are expecting to see just shrink that out of the way a bit hopefully that works there we go so as we're coming along here this is foxtrot i need a holding point foxtrot one written in front of me nope not shown properly over here we have a holding point foxtrot two which is in the wrong place and we have a label saying foxtrot's off to the left well it's not really in we're on foxtrot the left is juliet or the runway uh, and really i need big signs telling me the runway's in front runway zero three that's the important point about this part of the airfield and that's why it's a risk of a hotspot so uh not really signposted very well um the taxiways are their own issue that's that's not not what this is about it's just just getting some signs so we can use it likewise going the other way we can see foxtrot so at least we know this is taxiway foxtrot along here um but yeah and then this is juliet which is again not really shown so um pretty hard to work out where you are so let's go back to where we were over here on foxtrot pointing towards the runway on the left we have foxtrot 2 so if we're here foxtrot 2 is on the left so there it is foxtrot 2 with juliet afterwards so that's fair enough um, and here we have, we're on Foxtrot, Charlie to the right, Juliet to the left, Foxtrot 2 going back in the cells. Well, not really, um, but anyway, Foxtrot 2 is, is, is known about and has been generated a sign. Um, but let's say we're over here on Juliet and on our right is Foxtrot 2. Here we have Foxtrot, that's the wrong sign. So this is presumably the sign for this taxiway, Foxtrot 2 on the right. But you can see the confusion, the way they're sort of overlapping and can be seen from both sides. Also interesting to note the size discrepancy. You wouldn't have an airport with two size differences so there's different scales of sign obviously for general aviation and then for commercial aviation they are surprisingly big these commercial aviation signs uh, but the flight deck of a 747 is very high up so it needs to be made very clear you don't want to be squinting to read these signs um, so there we go so usual issues they're slightly in the wrong place there's a bit of contradicting information they're only visible on one side and if you're going this side then um good luck to you because there is just nothing <laughs> no warnings about where you're going so what we'll do is see how this little area pans out when we have the uh, add-on installed and here is Biggin Hill with the Black Square Real Taxiways Europe installed. So we were particularly interested in the threshold area for runway 03 to see how that compares to what we had before. So let's come down to taxiway and I've got the chart here to confirm. This is taxiway Foxtrot. I want to come along. I put uh, Foxtrot 2 on my left. Juliet 1 on is the other taxiway and I've got Foxtrot 1 in front of me, which is a hotspot. So that's shown in detail here. So we are currently coming along foxtrot so i need to see foxtrot one in front of me that's the crucial holding point for the runway so there it is foxtrot one zero three all very good now on the left we've got foxtrot two there's no sign telling me that's coming up now i don't actually know if biggin hill has a sign before you get to it because this is a this is a regional sort of airport or even smaller than that which is why i wanted to include it just to show you that some of the differences uh, instead of just all the big international airports but no, there's no sign. I can't see any markings for a sign here on the, the imagery that they provided, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Um, so crucially, as you come along here, there is no working sign for Foxtrot uh, 2. However, as you can see, there is a board, and that is it there, Foxtrot 2, holding point for runway 03. So, yeah, I'm not, not sure if this is the correct layout, because, of course, uh, 03 is over here. This isn't. You're not entering a runway by doing this, and this little formatted stop bar here, this is a runway sort of stop bar but um it could be left over from when this taxiway was a a runway which i believe certainly when i last flew from Biggin hill that was still used as a runway 
but it may have all changed now. So I'm running on outdated information, I'm afraid. But there we go, Fox Shot 203 is labeled there. This is taxing with Juliet. So in front, we want Juliet 1, which we've got Juliet 1 for 03. And as we move back, uh, still no Fox Shot 2. So in summary for Biggin Hill, then this crucial area, which is what I was sort of focused on, has improved with the key part, which is the big red stop signs. That's what I wanted to see, the, the big red sign telling me this is now a runway in front, runway 03. Uh, and they've also cleaned up some of these other signs that were sort of dotted about the place, making it uh, just a confusing mess, really. <laughs> so that is nice to see. Um, definitely, uh, again, going to make your life easier when trying to follow the charts and not actively roll, or sorry, not accidentally roll onto an active runway. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. In summary, then, what do I think about Black Square Real Taxiways Europe? Well, it's an interesting premise and one that. It turns out was needed more than I realized in uh, in flight simulator. A lot of these airports had very bad signage and in all four we've tested it has improved using its add-on so that is reassuring for me to see that uh, they've not been missed out or accidentally forgotten. There are still some issues in the taxiway signage not being completely perfect there's no doubt about it but it's relatively minor and most importantly the things that I wanted to see primarily the clear signage for the runway stop point and accurate runway uh, sorry accurate taxiway naming i.e. are you on Juliet, Foxtrot etc has mostly been rectified uh, to, to a very large amount even if there are still a few a few areas that aren't quite perfect so it's been pleasing to see that but again not 100% perfect you're not going to have every single taxiway accurately named to to within 100% precision so it's uh, it's going to be entirely down to what sort of flight simming you like to do. Do you like to fly around on that sim and you want to follow these accurately in low visibility procedures and so on? Then this may well help you out, especially at the, the bigger airports it seems to be very good at. Um, and even at these smaller airports that might have been entirely missing markers and so on, it does seem to have added them in where you would expect. So it's it's going to add to your realism in that sense. Is it an immediate, obvious, massive graphical change to the simulator? Not particularly, although it does have some nicer textures for these stop bar markings, as you can see, the high visibility ones. And I do like the, the style, the formatting and the size correction that they've applied to these bars, sorry, to these uh, signs, because as we saw earlier, you can end up having sort of different sized taxiway marking signs next to each other or just completely confusing mixed messages, which has again been cleared up a lot of the time using this product. It covers a huge range of airports, which would uh, explain why not every single one is 100% accurate. But uh, yeah, a surprisingly wide range. All four airports that I randomly picked, it did have some level of improvement for even the ones that were relatively well catered for like Heathrow. So that is just my thoughts on it. Uh, and uh, like I say, link is in the description. Uh, it was sent over. These views are all my own, however. I was not paid to say anything or anything like that. It's entirely just for me to take a look at and show you guys because I know a few people were interested. That's all then. There'll be plenty more videos like this and live streams of different aircraft and, of course, Airbus guides coming to the channel soon. So do please subscribe if you'd like to see those. Otherwise, we'll see you again in another video or live stream soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.